Hi, I'm Angela McInnes from the Ontario Bank, and I'm here at Victoria Park where local students and their supporters are protesting the Ontario government's recent OSAP changes. We need a government that supports students and supports education. We are organizing the protest uh, for, for the OSAP changes because a lot of students feel like they've been targeted as of recent uh, due to uh, the restrictions on labor laws and the raising of minimum wage, which a lot of students are a part of. So something like the OSAP changes just coming into play when students are already kind of starving for money was the first kind of stepping stone. And then this was just the ringer for it. It was just like, well, here we go. Now we have to deal with even more debt while not receiving enough pay. You know, they are cutting grants and they're getting rid of the you know, uh, free tuition for people under $50,000 a year. And it does feel like an attack on the student body and on the youth of Ontario. And it's hard to not want to demonstrate. And it's hard to not want to be passionate about something that really does not only affect you, but everyone else around you as well. I've been told several times that there's no point in protesting. Nothing's going to change. Um, and in my mind, I'm just like, I don't think that's true. We need to have something in London that is accessible to all students and all youth and just any locals who can't make it to Toronto and are upset about the changes. So even if this, this specific protest doesn't enact change, continuing to protest and continuing to make our voices heard will change things, especially because the government works for its people. We need to be heard and our voices need to be represented fairly and properly. And we will fight for that and we will continue to fight for that. Well, you know, we're here today because students don't agree with what's happening. And this Doug Ford government has to pay attention to the voices of people, to the voices of students. And uh, making these announcements without giving anyone a warning or the heads up of what's happening so they can contribute to the conversation, so they can, you know, try to maybe steer the ship a different way, um, isn't right. And so just, you know, pop, popping up an announcement after announcement and assuming that everybody agrees with it and that it's good for students, we don't agree and students here today don't agree. They came out in this, you know, extremely cold weather to protest what this government's announcing. It's making their lives harder. This is such a bigger fight than just OSAP. These are just attacks and attacks and attacks across the province, whether that is um, to minimum wage, to health care, which they're looking to privatize now, um, rental, right? right? They, they, they're getting rid of uh, rent protections and stuff like that. So, I mean, whenever the time comes, I need to raise my voice and fight back.